I decided to start pairing mobility with ring strength work because otherwise I would literally never do it. The mobility part. But I started Olympic weightlifting after like a 10 year hiatus and mobility is such a limiter that there's literally no point in doing it if I'm not going to be doing the tedious mobilizing my body. You'd think calisthenics would, would like incentivize me more, but I find that I've built a lot of specific mobility without actually just building mobility in a general way. German hangs. <sighs> Gotta stretch the shoulders, baby. It's been a little while since I did a long form video. I uh, had a relative pass away and then I got COVID and then I got anemic after getting COVID. And then I haven't really felt like making a video lately for I think understandable reasons. I feel good, which is a new thing. I'm trying to do a rotation while I'm doing that. German hangs. So that I don't get many spots. Nope, we're just gonna watch this just for the feet shots. <laughs> Filming at home is a little bit more constrained. Let me know if you like this format better. I may as well talk through the mobility. I'm gonna try something different with the rings cradles today. I'm gonna try to do them without foot support or at least less foot support. One leg. It's just controlling the motion. It's hard, but it feels kind of good. So basically just straighten one leg. By the way, all the mobility I'm doing is just from a free programs from this guy called Movement by David. He's like the stay flexy dude. It's very simple. Again, totally free, you just gotta Google them. Whew. They're pretty good. He's just idiot proofed it, which is good because mobility is the one area I know nothing about training. I just need an idiot proof template to follow. But I think like anything, consistency is probably the most important. Whew. You can see how often I stretch my hamstrings, which is never. gone this low before. Obviously. I could touch my toes, but just barely. Well, actually, never mind. Just kidding. I just need to warm up. Oh, those are better than I thought. These are just tight still, though. Tightness is relative, is what you learn over time. I remember when I was a kid, I failed the sit and reach test. Pretty. Impressively, if I do say so myself. Oh, I had to train to touch my toes. 
that's pretty bad. Ugh. I'll probably cut the stretching. Well, it's working. So if you have no motivation to ever do mobility work, just force it into the brakes. So try to get into that front lever, or back lever, sorry. To get that back lever stretch, like so. And then just lift your legs. Oh, that's intense. Feels good. It's actually a nice contrast. Just doing the stretching on brakes. I should have thought of this like years ago. I'm just an idiot. This might be a precursor to the uh, one arm chin up. Feels like it should be. All right, now I'm just doing uh, knees over toe split squats. Warm up those hips. So yeah, it's amazing. With calisthenics, you get these kind of mini plateaus, and that sudden breakthrough is where, at least for me, it's like all or nothing. I suddenly just unlock a new skill and like a new progression of strength, seemingly out of nowhere. It's very different than just conventional way of strength training. I think whenever there's a skill component, you just can't really predict it as well. Oh, this side's way tighter. Especially in the... I think I'll start filming the Olympic lifting vids. Be warned, they're pretty bad. I can't quite get into a squat the way I want to. All right, let's just do normal rows now. I love this twist. Feels very powerful. I have this crazy, like, fantasy of, like, <laughs> doing a one-arm front lever row, and I think that rotation might be the key. More of these split squats. I'm trying to do a balancing now. If something sucks, just listen to the music you like. Pick a playlist that won't distract you, but will kind of be a nice background. So you don't really want to focus on the music, you just want to kind of have it there, like a good spotting partner for your ears. What am I talking about? It's late. I don't know anymore. Well, I'm learning where my weak spots are. Mobility wise. Oh, Jesus. Feels like I'm gonna. Uh, 
That's a finicky one. <sighs> It's a little negative control it on the way down. Build that connective tissue strength and muscle. What? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Absolute least favorite pancakes. I'm checking the time at the top. It's a mad vacuum too. I can never quite do them though. Breathe in. You gotta kinda give your muscles the time to stop freaking out. All I'm doing is just pulling my legs wide, and that's all it takes. Okay. There we go. He relaxed. I've been doing passive stretching, just intense ones, because it's pretty straightforward, and it doesn't take a lot of CNS fatigue to complete. Oh. Practicing for straddle L. My elbow just need conditioning. It's mostly about getting them used to this. Try to lift the legs a little. A lot of rings training is just conditioning your joints for these really specific angles. And I'm kind of using my triceps to brace against this just to reduce momentum a little bit. Eventually I'll stop doing that, but it's good to use the rings as like a little extra support while I get used to that kind of extended position. I'm using the back as a the wall is a bit of a back support. Just to make sure I can kind of have a little bit of stability. I can't even reach for it at all. That's how tight I am. Just breathe. I try to relax other parts of my body sometimes that helps like the areas i want relaxing to relax I'm kind of learning a lot on the fly just because i'm spending more time in here we go i try to get past the uh, little cramp up from what i understand of stretching you're basically just teaching your body that's safe to go into these range of motions like you're not going to get injured so the more relaxed you can be and calm when it comes to passive work the better it does feel like my hips are opening even though it's a little discomfort
Ugh. Ouch. You know, you need to stretch more when it like, your body's rebelling. It's kind of a hybrid of a, like hurdler stretch and a normal pigeon stretch. Kind of opens the side of your hips a little. It's hard to sink into it, but once you get looser, it's not so bad. stretch I guess. Well I got through about half of my stretches. I won't show the rest once I'm done with the workout because it's kind of pointless. The rings turn out is getting stronger. I'm trying to go extra deep because I want to eventually get like the pelican press where you're like fully extending behind. I'm nowhere close to that, but I can feel the range slowly opening a little bit. Just gotta be gradual. Keep it tight and close. One of the best ways to control range of motion is just like have a physical barrier that keeps you from going too far. In this case, if I were to overextend, I would just get hit by the floor. That keeps me from going way beyond my capacity. Now I'm just doing flies. kind of like to do short range of motion. Nope, I'm too fried today from lifting. Okay, well, anyways, peace out.